So uh, ESDC is one of the main uh, departments that delivers programming uh, to Canadians and we communicate uh, to them through a variety of channels, uh, in person at Service Canada centres, 1-800-O-Canada with uh, our call centres and then through uh, the, uh, our websites. So here we're looking to deliver uh, a variety of programs and seeing how there's a lot of decisions that had to be made uh, by Canadians on which programs they want to participate in and all the various options, we thought that behavioral economics would be a good way to guide them through this decision, uh, this decision making process. One of the ma major platforms that uh, we have online is the Job Bank service, and a subset of Job Bank is there's a special service called Job Match, and in that it's essentially a dating website where employers and job seekers get together, um, or the algorithm, a special algorithm, brings them together to say, hey, uh, this person has the right skills, and this job is looking for those specific skills. However, in order to do that, both the employer and the job seeker need to fill out uh, all this information uh, before the algorithm can match them. And what we were noticing once we launched the job match service is that there was a lot of people, the employers, they were required to fill it out, but uh, the job match um, for job seekers was a, was a, voluntary, um, is a voluntary thing that they, that they can apply for. We noticed that they'd, sign, uh, they'd begin the sign up, but they wouldn't end it. So seeing how they weren't ending the sign up, we said, well, this is probably due to behavioral barriers because they showed interest. However, once they saw how much time was required and uh, the number of fields of information that were being asked for, they weren't following through. So one of the projects that we, uh, we designed is when they show interest uh, and to sign up for job match but don't complete their application, we can communicate them with them by email to try to prompt them to say, hey, come back and finish your application. So, um, so we did just that. Uh, by grabbing the population of people who started uh, their job match account but didn't complete it, we took those emails and we randomized them into uh, into five groups. A group with a control email that was being sent before um, before we were uh, were brought to bear on the project, and then four different nudge uh, emails. And uh, one was framing, one was based on priming, another was based on uh, building a sense of commitment, and then the last one was uh, was around social norming. And then we tested uh, using Google Analytics and our internal uh, administrative software uh, uh, data sets how many people were clicking on which email, and then how those were translating into actual accounts created, which is the purpose, because without them completing their account, they can't uh, benefit from the job match service, uh, which will uh, match them with jobs. And, uh, and what we found was that the behavioral economics inspired um, emails were much more effective at getting people to not only click but also to uh, complete their job match application. So uh, f following the trial, uh, we ended up actually doing two trials and uh, at the end of the, uh, both of those trials we took the best email, uh, the email that generated that got people to, to come on and complete their accounts uh, at the highest rate and we implemented that as the, uh, as the go-to email that, uh, that our systems automatically send out to Canadians who are, are signing up to job match but just don't complete the profile.